what is big data all about? It's that the quantity turns into a new quality. But what is that quality? I suggest we should look at three defining qualities of big data, and they are more messy and correlations. They are not volume, velocity, and variety that you have heard perhaps before. No, 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 no. There is something deeper there, something more profound. Let me give you an example of how this works out in practice. You all know Walmart very well. Walmart stores every single transaction, every single purchase, and what items were purchased. And they ran a big data analysis of it. And they found out that just before a hurricane hits a particular area or location, people go to the Walmart and buy flashlights and batteries. That's what we would expect. But Walmart also found out that people just before a hurricane hits buy Pop-Tarts, <laughs> which is, as many of you know, a sugary snack. Please uh, note that I don't call it food. <laughs> Who would have thought about that? Who would have thought that just before the hurricane, you sell a lot of Pop-Tarts. Walmart didn't, but now they know. And you know what they do? They move the Pop-Tarts when the hurricane is approaching closer to the cashier. And so they sell many more of them. They still don't know why people buy the Pop-Tarts. And by the way, mostly strawberry flavor. Added benefit here. Um, but that's not important. It's not important for Walmart to act to know the exact cause. It's good enough to know that something is happening rather than exactly why it is happening. If you think now that big data is fundamentally changing a lot of the internet companies and the internet services and so forth, you're right. But it goes far beyond that. Big data is going to affect every sector out there of our economy, every single one of them. Think about even much further than, than, than you can. Think about healthcare. It turns out that premature babies like this one are particularly prone to infections. And so the most important thing that you need to do as a pediatrician with a premature baby is to find out whether the baby has an infection or not as early as possible. Unfortunately, we're not particularly good at that. And so that's why thousands of premature babies die of unnecessarily of infections every year. Dr. Carolyn McGregor at the University of Toronto had an idea how to battle that. It was a big data idea. She attached sensors, digital sensors, that measured the vital signs of these premature babies to these babies and captured the data, 1,200 data points a second of vital signs per baby. And she did that for days and days and weeks for dozens and dozens of babies. And then she looked for patterns in the data that would predict with a strong likelihood the later onset of an infection. And she found that pattern. And so now, just by looking at the pattern of vital signs, they can predict with a strong likelihood the, the onset of an infection of premature babies 24 hours before the first symptoms manifest themselves, which is crucial time to save lives of these young, innocent children. It's a fundamentally big data approach, using much more data, Data that is messy because some of the sensors have been taken off by the kids, some didn't measure perfectly, and so forth. And it is correlational. Dr. Carolyn McGregor doesn't know why the baby has an infection. She just knows that it will, with a strong likelihood, have an infection. But that is good enough in this particular incidence to help. Here's the kicker, by the way. Do you know what kind of pattern that is, that predicts with a strong likelihood that the baby has an infection. It's not that the vital signs suddenly go haywire. It is that the vital signs of a premature baby suddenly stabilize. 
What kind of a pediatrician would have thought of that? If you have stabilization of vital signs as a pediatrician, you say, out of the woods, I go home. While in reality, this is an alarm sign. And that means immediate attention. This is the type of insights that we will gain from big data analysis. So there's a lot of value and a lot of opportunity out there for society, but also for businesses, for every business out there. It's a human vision, legacy we want to leave behind us.